So you want to see those two paths. Every physical catalyst like that is a fork in the road of your journey. It's offering you an opportunity to pause and instead of going straight through like you were intending to and expecting yourself to, and you are maybe just on automatic pilot, it's pausing you and it's creating a fork in the road. It's creating opportunity, it's creating a choice point, it's creating a point of awareness so you can heal yourself and choose a better life. Choose a life that's more in alignment with what you actually wanna learn and become and radiate and share with others. My question would be if uh, something physically are happening to us, physical issue. Uh, to me, I broke my ankle um, six weeks ago with a lot of pain and surgery, and it was extremely un um, unexpected. Um, and my question, and I know I created that, uh, and I just wanted to know, was it just, I mean, is that just because out of our thinking, um, out of the seats in our causal body, or is something more behind that? It's just balancing something out or growing experience. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. So paradoxically, almost ironically, you broke your ankle to heal yourself, not the ankle, yourself. So a lot of times, physical catalyst like that is actually a sign of, it's the first sign of healing ourselves, which is much more important because the physical body you don't take with you anyway. This is not who you are. You're an immortal, eternal being. This is just a temporary vacation. Who cares? You broke your ankle. Okay, it hurts. Okay, yes, it's unpleasant. Yes, but ultimately, it's helping you heal. It's helping you gain greater soul consciousness and greater balance as a soul. And ev evolution is what drives all of us. Going back to the one infinite creator, realizing the one infinite creator, that magnetic gravitational pool that makes us all seekers of infinite reality is what drives everything. So you broke your ankle to realize more of infinite reality, to balance yourself, to become more transparent and realized in infinite reality. So sometimes an illness is actually healing. First of all, I want to get that clear because we often demonize it, but an illness can be healing. It's healing the soul by making the body sick because what does that do? And here's whenever something happens to any of you guys physically of that nature, like you break a leg or you get sick or whatever. Yes, it is coming from, it can be a variety, it can be of a variety of reasons or for a variety of reasons, sorry. But it's always some reflection, some manifestation, either of negative thoughts, but usually to show you what those negative thoughts are and to offer you an opportunity for, like I said, healing for clarity. So our first response, ideally, is that we welcome the experience for it still hurts. It's unpleasant. That's fine. You can acknowledge that. Like, I don't like the sensation. I don't like how this limits my movement. Okay. It, that's a human reaction. That's understandable. Just acknowledge that for a second. You know, that first like, shit, why is this happening? Like, oh, this is not good. Just give some space to that. Don't try to not have any of those thoughts. You can, if you want to. If you can truly stay with immediately, as soon as you bump your toe or break your ankle, if you immediately can see it for its benefit, that's great, but that takes practice. Usually most human minds will need, will need a little venting process. A little, fuck, ow, shit, why me? Where this is not good. What's gonna happen now? So, Accept the fact that you haven't trained yourself yet into complete faith just yet. Know that it's possible though. Strive for it. G gently strive for that. But accept that there is this little venting period. But then very quickly after, don't linger in that. Just give yourself space to react. And then as soon as you can, without pushing anything away, holding, again, space holding, inclusivity. Don't be afraid of your reactions. Accept those reactions. Know yourself. 
But then you want to transmute that to what is this perfect for? What is this guiding me towards? And with those kinds of reflections, like physical manifestations like that, usually the easiest way for the human brain to figure out what its purpose is, why it is showing up to, this, to you, is to ask yourself the question, because of this catalyst, what am I now doing or inspired to do that I wouldn't be had I not gotten this reminder, this catalyst? So you want to see those two paths. Every physical catalyst like that is a fork in the road of your journey. It's offering you an opportunity to pause. And instead of going straight through like you were intending to and expecting yourself to, and you are maybe just on automatic pilot, it's pausing you and it's creating a fork in the road. It's creating opportunity. It's creating a choice point. It's creating a point of awareness so you can heal yourself and choose a better life. Choose a life that's more in alignment with what you actually want to learn and become and radiate and share with others. La 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 la. Straight, 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 straight. Breaking ankle. Boom. Stop here right now. You can go left or you can go right. But you can't go straight through because you broke your ankle. But now it's a choice point. So this is the beauty, the spiritual beauty in those catalytic moments. And you want to be able to visualize, if you really want to understand why it happened, you want to be able to see both of the paths. One, what would have happened? What would I have chosen? How would I have felt? How conscious would I have been about myself? What version of myself would I be had this not happened? Whereas I had to continue on that same stream, that same track, that same automatic pilot. And maybe you don't know exactly why, but you can at least try to contemplate it, tune into it. Was I kind of on a rampage that was going to lead me to some kind of a disaster? Was I not paying attention? Was I maybe not supposed to go on that trip? That's key trip. You know, something like that. And then, and then begin to realize, okay, so, and what's the other path now? And usually over time, that becomes clear. That's why in retrospect, people can see, oh, hey, I'm so grateful I broke my ankle that month. I didn't feel that like it at the time. You know, this cliche kind of spiritual realization moment. Like, I didn't like it at the time, but now in, in retrospect, I can see that it was all good for something. So, you, <laughs> no offense, that's a good state, but you know, it's so cliche. People always realize it after the fact. <laughs> so, but if you realize this is what happens all the time when you have a little calamity in your life, a little catalyst, a little pause moment that's being manifested, inserted, if you know this is how it works, then you can preemptively be okay with it. You don't have to, you don't have to resist it for two years before you are like, ah, I can see its benefit because that's an unnecessary struggle. And that's not what your beingness intends when it creates this. So what you want to be able to do is imagine yourself three, four, five years down the line, looking back upon this moment now with your ankle. And what then would you have said, oh, I'm so grateful that happened because it caused me to be more aware of this. It helped me to change this. I didn't go there. I went here instead. I changed the direction in my life. So if you're finding a roadblock, a physical manifest roadblock that you can't do much about or anything, maybe even physically, it is literally you creating a fork in the road for yourself to help you, inspire you to change your direction. It's not a no to you, it's a no to the path you are on. It's a yes to you. Breaking your ankle is a big fucking confirming, affirming, divine, yes, you are worthy. And I love you so much, I don't want you to go down that path because I know you don't want to go down that path. So the ankle is not a no, you're unworthy, this is happening to you. It's a yes, this is happening for you. Please can reconsider, I have to honor your free will, so I can't tell you exactly what it is, but I'm going to pause you right here. I'm going to let you ponder this and choose the better path. So it's love. It's a confirmation of your worth. It is illness is healing. It's the process of healing. It's love. Now, don't create unnecessary the healing, uh, sorry, illness because it's love. But when illness does happen, see it as love. Like see it as the process of healing your soul.
and helping you optimize your direction in life and make the most use of your time here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Definitely. And I feel it. I mean, I kind of, I felt it instantly right away. And because I really, I mean it and, but I consciously slowed down anything, everything, just everything. I Good. kept on, on everything. And I was, com and the interesting thing was um, everything was working in my favor in this moment. It was so interesting. I mean, yeah. And I just went also into. It always is. Tr yeah, in, into trust, and I really let go in all those moments, you know. And it was a lot of stuff came up, and blah blah blah. But mm -hmm. I feel, and it still do, um, that it's for my favor. Yeah, it's not pleasant, Good. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I see it. Yes, yes and accept it. Accept it of and course. so there's beautiful, and there's another dimension to this. So first of all, great, and I recommend everyone develops this attitude. It's going to help you so much to maintain a positive interpretation of seemingly negative occurrences. It's so crucial because it only takes one weak moment of giving into a negative thought about something that's happening to spiral you into a two year long depression where you're not quite connected to who you are. These things can cascade. They're tricky, they're risky. Negative thoughts are risky and they're not ultimately coming from you. Again, they're meant to continue to disempower you. So it's so important that we develop this faith-based relationship that whatever is happening in my life is there for my growth, for my healing, for my ascension, for my evolution. I want it. If we develop this relationship that we want whatever is happening to us, then it's very difficult to come up with negative associations if something happens. So then we can very quickly pivot to the positive perspective and then, as Bashar says, since he seems to be a theme today, whenever you maintain a positive interpretation of what happens, even if the event might seem negative, or even if someone else intended it as a negative action against you, if you maintain a positive interpretation, a frame of reference, perspective of that situation, you can only get a positive effect out of it. Because it's your creation. Whatever you give to it, you're going to get out of it. So... This is crucial in order to yeah. s sustain the stability and the joyfulness with which we go through these challenging times sometimes. It's got to be an adventure. We got to be bigger than what's happening. We got to interpret it from a bigger perspective. And then this leads me to another dimension to this question, which is these negative occurrences will happen less and less the more aware you are prior to those mistaken routes that you were about to take on autopilot. So if you were fully aware of where you were headed in that state of consciousness, and you were sensitive enough to notice that ahead of time and make the shift yourself, you would not have broken your ankle. Mm -hmm. Most likely. There might be exceptions. To yes, yes, yes. I, yeah. Um, the Does this thing answer that your question? Yes, uh, almost. Um, the there's just one thing. The there's one side because it was a really complicated fracture. Blah blah blah. It was I got a surgery instantly, and everything went well. But one side is extremely sensitive with a lot of pain, and it looks like it can go in a maybe 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 not in a complicated direction so um i wonder how i deal with that is it can the still ongoing questioning aligning with source with faith letting go feeling through the way are you, are you ready for are you ready for a simpler yes, life please Yes, okay. I am. Are you ready for a purer, simpler way of being? Yes. Well, so then there's your symbolism. The ankle, which allows you to tread upon a path, a complicated, complicated fracture is showing you you were headed in a complicated direction. And it's asking you, are you ready to 
do you realize, first of all, the pain that comes with a complicated fractured self? Fracture also represents segregation, compartmentalization. Yes. Instead of wholeness. So the complication of the fragmentation of self will lead to a complicated, fragmented life path. And you were blessed to be stopped in this, in your tracks. And the very means that you need to traverse upon a path, which are your ankles, the most complex portion of that, yeah. have a complicated fracture that on one side, it hurts. It's sensitive. So there's still a side of you, which is still, in a sense, perhaps resentful or hurting over or attached to that complication. And the other side is not. But if you can unify that, then the pain will disappear on both sides. But I think part of the question here is that, are you, are you actually ready? Because it's challenging for a lot of people to choose a simple life, to choose the simpler path. So if you're ready for it, then take this reflection as where am I still being complicated unnecessarily? Where am I attached to complication, to fragmentation? Where does it still seem daunting to me to embrace a very simple, clear, beautiful, streamlined path? I know I want that, because who doesn't in the end, but but I feel like maybe I'm missing out on this or I'm relinquishing responsibilities or whatever it might be. But ask yourself, what attachment to complications do you have left? Are you ready to free fall in faith, simplicity? Because faith is the simplest path of all. It's the highest, but the simplest. Because faith literally reduces all the separations and complications into one thing, God. This whole complicated life of, I need to manage my life. I need to control my life. I need to control my destiny. Make sure I get there. Do it this way, on this timing. It's all replaced by the simplicity of faith. And you can't walk on your own. You see? You can only walk with God. You can't walk on your own two legs. This is how I would interpret the situation for myself, if I were you. I just love it. Beautiful. Yeah. And you will, you will know, you will know that you're on the right track. This is for everyone listening. When you're seeking for the interpretation, after you've accepted your initial human reaction and you're okay with that, but you're not lingering in it, then you're moving on to a more constructive dialogue with yourself. You could visualize it as your higher self if you wish. And then once you ponder, what is this? How is this not an obstacle? It's a redirection. It's a signpost. Go left instead. This is not the way for you to go. It's not a no. It's a yes for you, but it's trying to guide you in a different direction. It just needs to grab your attention because we're so stubborn and complicated. So then when you start pondering, okay, what is this? What direction is this trying to inspire me into? And what do I need to let go of in my consciousness? to gain that greater mastery, and in this case, maybe purity or simplicity and faith. And then you will know that you're onto the right, that you've got the message of the ankle fracture, or whatever the catalyst might be. You will know that you're onto the message that you're actually opening God's email or envelope, and you're actually reading the proper letter that was intended in this catalyst, because you got out of your own negative thinking and you weren't stuck in, why is this happening to me? God damn it, I can't do this, da, 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 da. Then you're not opening the envelope. You're not reading the letter from your higher self. But once you've given space to that, you are reading it. When you know you are reading the proper message, receiving it, is when you start to feel exactly what you were embodying there is, oh, I love it. This is so cool. I can see it. When you have that sense of clarity and the whole thing, for that moment at least becomes obsolete. You're no longer resisting it. You're like, oh, of course, awesome. When you're lit up by what you're realizing, you know you've got the message. And that is the way to think and go and appreciate. And then you're healing yourself. Yes. Yeah, the fracture healed you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> love it. That's it. I love it. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And mm. oh, with 
everything you just put for everyone. So I, I bet there's a lot of stuff in for each and everyone. Thank you so much. Mm, yes, it's a great question. Applies to everyone. Thank you, love. <laughs>